Yo guys, here's a quick little video I did back before Hurricane Zeta, so a while back that I just now am going to put together and uh, show you guys something pretty cool, something different. So I was fishing lights, right? And I was I was seeing redfish, they were popping, you know. I caught one redfish on an X-Wrap and I was like, man, it's, it, it was an hour, a couple hours of fishing, I, I was only catching white trout. So what I did... I went and caught some, you know, they're about 12 to 14 to 15 inch mullet. Cut them into chunks, threw the chunks on the bottom, and let me tell you something. It was money. Cut mullet is such a great redfish bait. I don't think people understand. It's live bait. People usually use for, you know, live little finger mullet. It's perfect. That's great bait. But if you're going to use cut bait, cut mullet is top. It's, it's priority. <laughs> but anyway... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's something a little different, and these reds were brutes. Uh, I want to thank you all for 600 subscribers. I'm trying my best to just keep keep these videos going. Um, and when I get subscribers and when people are, you know, interacting with me on my videos, it gives me motivation to want to keep making videos because I could easily just go fishing and not bring the camera. I, sometimes I just, I'm like, I ain't bringing this camera, and I go fishing, but I'll keep making them. I just, you know, you know how it is. Anyway, thank you all. I appreciate everybody who watches these videos. And uh, let's see what you think about this one. It, oh, I had no intentions of recording, by the way, uh, this video you're going to see now. I just brought one camera and one battery just in case something crazy was happening out there. But this is that's why it's kind of all over the place. But enjoy, guys. Peace. Swine, I just cut my fish right where I got to stand when I go to, you know, walk around. Cut, you can't see them, it's dark. But I cut my mullet off on the floor of my boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just taking it and hooking it through the tip of the back like that. Well, through the back. Make sure there's no scale because that will cause you to miss fish. Wash my hands off. Can't have dirty hands while fishing, you know. And I'm taking this chunk and I'm going to throw it. Just going to throw it out there. Boom. You'll get tapped a lot going down. There's a lot of white trout down there. And they'll, I caught a couple of nice white trout on these chunks as well. But just going to let it get down. Make sure my drag's okay because these are some big fish down here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, I'm on the bottom. I'm getting tapped. And you'll know that one special tap. You'll know. It's not a tap. It's a crush. Funk. There are redfish down there that won't hit a lure. And I'm not sure if it's because there's 20 million white trout for every redfish and they're getting in the way or what, but we'll check it out. I'm just going to let this kind of sit around. It's a good thing. It's fresh bait. It's not getting tapped to death. So that's a good sign. So when big mama comes through, she'll pick it up. Got to get some fishing in before hurricane Zeta, beta. I don't even know what they're called. You know, they're always pointed directly over my house and then they end up turning, but I'm not worried about it. It's category one, should be fine. I just wanted to get this night in before the rain comes. It's gonna rain my days off. So I just wanted to fish a little bit. Haven't been recording, been doing some night fishing in different areas and uh, I've been doing all right. You know, I don't record everything I do. I wanna thank all the new subscribers who's been checking out my channel. I've been getting a little influx of subscribers. Nothing crazy, but all the, you know, you know, the, the guys who've been around, man, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. The new guys, man, I'm glad y'all, you know, have checked out my channel and sub. That means everything to me. I try to, I'm a novice at YouTube, but I'm trying my best. I'd say I'm a novice at YouTube and pretty good at fishing. I know, I know how to find me some fish here and there. Could teach you a few things along the way. Yep. But when I get a bite or if anything else happens, I'll hit you guys up. So thank you guys for watching and uh, welcome to the sporadic video that I didn't know I was creating. All right, guys, I just want to show you all the power of a cut mullet. I've been out here working some lures. I caught a red, tons of white trout, and I uh, put on some cut mullet. I caught a nice big keeper red, and now I got a bull red on that I'm definitely not keeping, but just wanted to show you guys a fight I have no net so I just realized you know when I bring a net I don't do anything so I'm not I just stop bringing it I'm gonna sit in some mullet blood but yeah I put mullet and it was instant action and I know baits good 
I don't use bait, but it was getting slow and I went and found some moments swimming, threw my cast net on them and I got all the cut bait I could want. Now, I hope he's not hooked too deep. He thumped the crap out of it, so I knew it was a good fish. You know, I just let him do his thing. He's strong, this, this is good, good salty water. These fish are powerful. So, I'm trying to let you guys get a look. Oh my horrible camera angles right now, but I gotta get this fish in. It's like a shark would grab him out here. I've just been out here fishing, man. And you're about to get got, guy. Come on, don't do it to me. Just let me get you. All right, well, one more try. Ah, yeah. Boom, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Ow! My fingers. Look how ugly he is, guys. But he's beautiful, but he's ugly. He's got no tail. He just completely demolished my cut mullet, so I gotta figure out where it's at. I'm cutting my line. He's 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 not he's, I'm not gonna try to rip it out. I'm gonna give this fish the best chance possible. That's a big fish right there. Um see if I can get a get a little something something here so you guys could uh see me holding them up. So I'm gonna try to do what I can. See if I can get away with that, baby. Alright, I'm cutting my line. First things first. This fish is gonna be okay. Cut it. Oh. Big one there. We're gonna give her a release. I'm just gonna just gonna head. I'm just gonna head bash him in. Look. Whoosh. Torpedo. Torpedo. I had no intention to make a video. I just happened to have my camera. Um so I'm having a great time out here now. It was slow. It was slow, but I'm just I didn't come prepared for cut bait, but I got a big jig head getting to the bottom, fresh cut mullet. We'll let you guys know what's happening in a minute. I'm gonna get, 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 get back rigged up and see what's up. You know, you see these waves coming through? It's rough around that corner. Ugh. I'm just, I'm probably gonna give it a little bit longer. This isn't gonna be much of a video, but like I said, I didn't plan to make one. So I hope you guys understand. I just wanted to put something out there for y'all. I'm really excited for the, the winter months as this water cools down. I got a lot of uh, sensitive people who don't like me because, well, I don't know what, the, what they feel, but I get a lot of people telling me I'm wrong because I keep redfish commercially. But what they're too simple and simple-minded and dumb to understand is these fish have quotas for a reason, right? There, there's no shortage of redfish. It's, it's, they've got it down. These fish are, have a quota, and you know it's gonna close soon. And I'll be catching a thousand redfish that I'm letting go. It evens out. There's, there's. I don't understand why people really believe that the redfish populations hurt. I'll tell you what hurts redfish populations in certain areas: gill netters, your pogey boats, your shrimp boats. I wouldn't say the shrimp boats so much, but a lot of boats pulling nets. They catch a lot of fish that they kill, you know, and there's something. That's a, that's a, that's a, oh, oh, did I hook up again with a freaking, what is this? Oh, dude, it was just a simple hit. I, I just felt the thump and it kind of went down with it. Oh, that's a red, head shake city. I'm having so much fun. I'm glad I went and got these mullet. God, I'm sorry. I'm screaming, guys. I just I just love this so much. Look at that. Look at that red there. Tank. Tank. Tanker. Hello. You won't hit a jig because you got 20 million white trout in the interfering, but they can't eat this big cut bait. What do y'all think of him, baby? I don't know how well y'all can see. So I'm gonna sit in my chair. This fish is still really, 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 he didn't fight much. So he's got a lot left in the tank. So I'm just gonna put this GLF to test, put my 30 pound suffix on him and uh, just make him, make him feel the pressure. That's all I'm doing. 
so much fun, guys. All right, so we're gonna lift him in. Everywhere I go fishing, right? Everywhere I go, I just can destroy the redfish because there's so many. Get off me, bug, or a parasite. Yeah, they got these parasites on them, and I don't like them. They make me kind of sick. They're scary looking. Look like a water tick. But look at that, dude. These redfish are beautiful and glorious, and they're prevalent everywhere I go. And if that doesn't let you know how well the redfish are thriving, I don't know what will. I've got more spots than I know what to do with to catch redfish. He's got it, though. He's got this piece way down there, man. So now I'm having a good time. I mean a good time. Yeah, I got to try to get this out somehow. He's got the... They love mullet. Cut mullet, besides a finger mullet, is one of my favorite baits. Look at that little piece. Look at that red. We're going to get a measurement on him. Just to show you guys what I'm working with over here. So this red is over 25. He's all right. He's at the end right there. He's over the. He's about 25 inches. He's over to 23. But he's bleeding. I can sell him. He's fine because he will be eaten in a restaurant where people will enjoy him for a future date. And that's how the seafood market works, my friends. And if you're sensitive about that. I'm sorry, but I'm really not. Throw some fresh water in there, and guess what? This piece is fine. He, he you know, he didn't do much. Damage. He just sucked it in. It was gone. It was that easy. So I'll just throw it right back out there. Tide's coming at me this way. Let it drift. And my brother's called me again. Taking these rocking waves up and down, up and down. Okay, something's happening here. I got something on here. Is this a redfish? What is this? Tried to freaking take it. This is a gaff top, isn't it, partner? Oh no, he's spinning. What is that? Oh god, that's a big white trout. I thought it was a gaff fish. Holy crap! So I'm just chilling in my chair, catching a big old white trout. I'm getting a phone call from my brother, and I'll be back. Okay, it's either a world record. Gaff top? No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. It's a redfish. Oh yeah, this is a redfish. Oh, freaking waves though. Oh my lord, this is a big redfish, I think. Oh, I better stand up. No, go back. He's trying to take me in a ladder. cut mullet on a freaking giant jig head that's all i got is this big jig head so i can reach the bottom it's so deep i didn't get the hit on camera holy crap i keep messing up what is that yeah that's a red I think he's really wanting to go up under there though You're probably too big to keep like the last two. Oh, oh, ain't she a beaut? Ain't she a beaut? I swear if this one swallowed it too, I'm gonna cry because I don't think I have any uh, big jig heads left. I think this is my last one and I can't rip it out of his throat because he probably, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, be healthy for him. Wouldn't be good for his health. Yeah, no, nah, actually, is this one too big? I don't know. He actually swallowed it. Yep. I'm probably going to have to keep him. He's not that big. Nah, he's not that big. I've kept bigger. Oh. Take a look at that one. How do I get light on him? Cut mullet just on the bottom. I'm not doing anything special. Throwing it down there and waiting. 
but I'm not waiting forever. If I, if I don't get anything within like three, three to five minutes, I move it and cast again because the tide's moving that way. So it's pushing me further out the longer I sit. Uh, where am I doing? What am I doing? Go to the live well. <sighs> Gotta move my phone, my shirt, my knife, my pole, my pliers. And if you look in there, it's pure blood because the one I had to keep is a little big, but he swallowed my bait. So he didn't make it. But yeah, I'm gonna re-rig and I'll be back. Oh, I tried to get it on film, but he just started going, dude. I don't know what it is though. I'm stepping on a mullet. Oh man, my camera's not set up. Oh baby, what, are you a gaff top? Are you a gaff top? Are you a gaff top? Might be a gaff top. Okay, never mind. Gaff top don't really do that unless they're huge. Oh. What is that? The fuck is it, man? It's a giant gaff top, like I was just stating. Gaff top don't really do that unless they're giant. And look at this big. Oh God. It's a shark gaff. He's like almost. He might as well be a shark. He's a shark top. He's half shark, half gaff top. Or a sail shark. Gosh, dang it! I got a world record on. He just flung so much snot on me. Oh. I was really hoping. God. Look at that gaff top. Yeah, I don't even want to touch him. I don't feel like getting slime all over me. <sighs> all right, well, I'll just do this. What is in your mouth? Oh, that was the rest of my line. Look at that one. It's a big one. the heck oh, i had like other person's braid on my i got i caught a hook what the heck man that fish must have had a hook in his mouth or something happened because i caught another hook with some line on it okay well where's cut this stuff off you get some crazy stuff that happens when you're fishing out here in the north pacific oh look a hook Actually, I'm in uh, Mississippi, so don't take that seriously. I gotta be, I gotta understand that I get new subscribers and people are gonna think I'm serious. I am fishing in Mississippi. Guys, I'll try to get the bite on camera. He just went with it so fast, I had no time. With my bait, and I'm just gonna set the hook. Holy crap. Got something nice. I think it's a catfish. I'll let you know when he starts acting like a redfish. Because right now, it's feeling kind of... I let him eat it too long though, so that's not a good thing. He might have swallowed it. I was trying to get the bite on camera before I hooked him. Yeah, it's a redfish. I think. Still don't know. Kind of unsure. But yeah, I felt a head shake, so it's probably another good one. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh no, I'm almost out of mullet. This is my last piece. Yep, yep, yep. That's a freaking, God, they're so big out here. I don't know what the heck is going on, but these fish are huge out here. I almost broke my key off in my ignition. Holy crap. That would have been bad. Oh, that could have been really bad. I did bend my key though. I'm scared. To, I'm not going to try to bend it back till I get in. Oh man, I'm trying to freaking get this fish up before he takes me. They don't stop fighting either. Like, they literally will fight 
until they die. I'm like, so I try to get them up quick. Yep, that's another. They're all about this size, mostly, or they're, they're either this size or they're huge. There's no like real in between. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. No, I hooked him really good. Right in the corner. So he's good to go. Look how pretty that one is. Holy crap, that's a fat one. And he has one tiny little bitty dot on his tail. It's kind of a weird one. I've never seen one like that. Um, I think this is about another 25 incher, maybe, maybe bigger, I'm not sure. He is, let's see, where's his nose? All right, there's the end, it's about right there. There's the 23 and he's hanging off of it. So he's probably about 26, 25. Another beautiful money because I sell these fish, like I've said many times. And he's going in. Oh my God, he almost took the rod out of my hand. My hands are wet. Oh, that's a big one. Holy crap. They do hit white trout. Oh, that's a big one. This is a hoorah fish. I gotta get out of here before these waves get any worse. Yep. I knew from the moment this fish hit my bait that he was big. And he's going out to sea. This is fun. This is a big fish. Freaking almost literally took the pole out of my hand. I caught the very end of it. baby dude this thing is massive I can't even move him oh yeah oh yeah it's good stuff right there put some hairs on your hairs Goodness, goodness, this thing is big. I knew from the moment he thumped that piece of white trout and it was a big piece, this fish wasn't playing. And he's trying to get me up in this stuff and I'm really not having that. I will break my rod trying to get him out before he pulls me in there. We got sketchy conditions. We're out here at 3 a.m. by ourselves. But you know what, we don't play around. Ooh. Hold on, I want to see you. Oh, I almost saw him, guys. And now he's peeling everything away again. It's amazing the amount of attention I'm putting on this fish, though. I'm not letting him handle me. For a little, little setup, I'm putting a lot on him. He's really pulsing a lot. All right, let's just get a glimpse. Can we get a glimpse? Can we get a glimpse? Can we get a glimpse of this big boy? Oh, I, I saw a color. What is that? Ooh, big old bull red. Big old bull red, baby. Big old bull red. This is gonna be fun. All right, all right. It's a good one there, baby. land him somehow big ugly brute but you know we call him big ugly but he's pretty he just demolished that white trout it makes me never want to leave but I gotta leave I mean it's getting sketchy out here 
Oh, baby. These breads are beat up out here. They, they got cuts on them and stuff. Hello. Hooked them in the core. I'm so happy I hooked you good. I did not want to hook you bad. You're my, you're my friend. You're a good breeder fish. And you don't need to be hooked bad. Oh. Yeah, I got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. Dude, it looks like the same one I caught earlier. But it's not. Because this fish is, look how beat up. Look how beat up. Decrepit. Emaciated. Uh, malnourished. And a lot of crazy stuff going on with him. Get this hook out of you, buddy. You see why they call him a drum, right? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> My thumb's so freaking hard, that hurt. Just a regular jig head. Oh. All right, guys, I let that fish go. Uh, he swam away just fine. I gotta get out of here while the waves will let me get out of here, even though they're getting pretty bad. So you guys wish me luck, and uh, I might do a little something at the launch, to say hello and goodbye, and all that good stuff. So that was fun. Some cut bait, man, got me some bites on an otherwise terribly slow night. So remember, I've always said it, bait is amazing. I just prefer lures, but bait will get you those bites that other lures can't get you. Especially when you got a million white trout down there attacking you and it's hard to get any bites but i'm getting out of here guys 